So here we are, we are officially in Premiere. Now again, my screen might look a little colored differently than yours. Again, that's because I'm in um, the 2018 version. I should be in the 2020 version. I just need to update everything. But the principles are the same. Now if you've taken any other Adobe type classes, you will know that we can adjust this layout and that's something that's super important to me. I want your screen to look as close to my screen as possible. Also, it just helps if you are partnered up with somebody, all of your junk basically is in the same locations no matter whose computer you're on. Now, what you guys are used to looking for is over here in the top left, top left, there's a drop down menu of your different workspaces. You can also, if I can get back here in the premiere, you can also go to window and workspaces is also under there. So that might be where we can all go, where our things look the same and you can see all the different options that you have. So if you click on any of these, your screen will adjust. It'll open up different panels that are customized for what you're trying to do. So I just clicked on the audio one. It gave me specific little windows, little panels here, little palettes that are all about mixing audio. I would prefer if you were on editing. That's actually the one that I had it pulled up on. And I'm in this newer version, so I also have options up here where yours is over here on the side. If we can all go to Window, Workspaces, and Editing and have that be the selected one, that is the ideal one to be in. Now what's cool is if you accidentally, you know, move all this stuff around and you're like, oh my god, I can't fix it, I am not a computer person, this is too weird to me, you can come back to Window and come back to Workspaces. And you can uh, just like click something else. My computer's being a little slow this morning. And then you can come back to editing. Oop. There we go. Do a reset. That was my bad. Do a reset and it resets it back to the way it looks. So if you accidentally close a panel, you move all your crap around, just instantly go in here and just do reset to save layout. The saved layout is the original one that came with this and you should be good. You can also create your own custom ones. So if you wanted to open up a bunch of stuff, you can then save a new workspace. But for us, editing is gonna be 100% what we need to be in. All right, let's take a little tour of this. Think of the screen as like a baseball diamond. We've got home, first base, second base, third base, or either way you want to go around. We've got four different boxes here, four different panels, and they are the four basic things that you need. Okay, so let's do this kind of in chronological order. It'll make the most sense, and we'll actually get our project set up. So the first panel is right down here in the bottom left. You'll notice that this panel, this window, also has individual little tabbies hiding in here. You want to be on the project tab. And it even says import media here. You probably have an additional little sequence thing right here. It's okay that I don't have that, you do. So this is where all of your videos, all of your audio, any like cool imagery you make in Photoshop, like whatever you want to put into your movie, it's gonna be right here. After Effects is something different. That's what we'll do, like the special effects. We'll take this project into AE. But for now, this is just where all of like your basic video stuff is going to be. So because of that, come back over here into your multimedia folder in your bike folder. And you have, if I organize this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vi different video files. I want you to grab all those video files and you're just going to drag and drop them, boom, right there into that panel. It might take a second for them to load, it might not but that is literally where all your stuff is going to be housed. Now, we can't organize this a little differently. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can look at it in list mode if you don't like all the big, the big tabs. I like the big tabs, I like the big previews, and this is why, check this out. If I touch this video with my mouse, I can like pet it, and you'll notice if I go forward, it goes forward, if I go backward, it rewinds. So you can like, have a bunch of different clips in here. you're like oh man what the crap like what is this and you can just like touch it 
and you can kind of be like, oh yeah, that's that's what that video was. <clears throat> now all this footage is going to be kind of foreign to you guys because you didn't shoot it. You'll know a little more about what each clip is when it's your own original stuff. But I love that you can just like touch it and preview it. You'll also notice each one of these little guys kind of has a little waveform on it. And when I touch that, you can even see it says contains linked audio. This does come with sound, but honestly, I think it's muted. So it's okay if our clip doesn't make any noise, but you'll see the video, the audio file here in a second. All right, the next most important little spot is this bottom right panel. This is your timeline. This is where you're going to build and organize all of your stuff. So I'm just going to grab a random clip right here and drag and drop it in. Now that kind of awoken my timeline. Yours already looked like this, because again, I've got an older version, you've got a newer version. Or vice versa, I've got the newer version, you've got the older version. This is what your screen looks like. So I've got bike low shot in here, that's what the file was called when I grabbed it over here. Now, I've got this little playhead, so if you've taken my animation class, this is a little playhead. Wherever this little line is, You'll notice in this next panel, that is where we're at in our movie. So we can kind of preview some stuff. We have some tools over here in this little middle tools bar area. All of these tools interact with this timeline right here. You'll also notice we have video one, video two, video three, audio one, audio two, audio three. These are like your layers and we can stack different videos on top of each other. You can mix audio down here. I can take this video and I can drag it up into different levels. But honestly, for right now, we're just all of your stuff's gonna be here in video one. Now, this little screen right here, this little timeline area, what's really cool is you've got this little scroll bar down here at the bottom. This would be, you know, like when your project's really long. But check this out, this little scroll bar has some additional capabilities. It lets you zoom in and out. So if I grab this outside edge, it's not shrinking my clip. It's not making my clip last longer. My clip is still the full clip. It just zooms way out of my timeline so then I can see farther down the movie and I can see all of my little boxes, all of my little clips. If I shrink it, it just zooms me in and I can more specifically edit and manipulate, again, each clip that I dump inside of here. So that's super cool. Now, working our way around here, we're going counterclockwise. This little panel in the top right, this is your actual movie. So anything you've got dumped down here on your timeline, if I hit the space bar, it plays, and I get to see my actual movie chilling up here. So as we start dumping things in, it'll keep going with it. Any transitions, any text. This is just giving me like a preview render of what I'm going to get. Sometimes this might get a little laggy on you. It just kind of depends on your computer and the mood it is having today. But again, this is going to be your final project. So always be watching this. Don't just kind of throw everything in here and be like, yeah, it's good. Like you want to check it, you want to watch it, you want to make sure you're getting exactly what you want. All right, the last panel here. We're going fast and furious here. Also, because my screen recording is only making me record this in chunks. It won't let me record a big video. I had to piece it all together. This last window, this is where, this is your source, this is where you're going to edit your shots. So if I double click on bike shot right here, it also opens up now up top. This is where you're going to edit stuff. So I can watch my video, but more importantly, I can trim my video. Now, Premiere is kind of like Photoshop. There's 10 ways to do the same thing. You to decide which way you like best. And I'm going to actually save this little snip here real quick and come back with another video because I don't want to run out of time because my software is being weird and we will explain this.